What a relief to see that we, we can just be just as we are. And, and really, it's, a, it's about time that we, we respect ourselves just as we are. I mean, really, just as we are, we respect ourselves there. And we love ourselves for the one we are. When I think about my own life, I, I, now I don't understand how I could not respect myself before. Like the description of, of uh, unworthiness, comparing myself to others, you know, feeling that I cannot contribute as others can contribute. I'm not good enough. <laughs> I mean, there is so many descriptions on just that feeling itself. And, and just thinking about it right now, I just feel totally isolated. I mean, just being in that emotion and just again and again, just analyzing it and, and seeing that unworthiness means that something is wrong with me. That was the old way of, of treating myself. Now, <laughs> as easy as a short moment, I see unworthiness, fine. That's part of being human that can come up. But I don't need to describe it anymore. I can just let it be as it is. And that single instruction of, of, in a short moment, to let everything be as it is, sounds really simple in a sentence like that. But it means to do that. And it's nothing more than that. It means to actually do that and see that, you know, if you have something coming up for you that you label negative, it doesn't mean that something is wrong. So that's where we gradually more and more feel safe and comfortable to really see that. At least for me, that was one of the biggest belief systems, that thinking and feeling something negative means something is wrong with me. Am I the only one, or is there more people like that? <laughs> uh, it takes some time to get used to that. It's nothing wrong to feel and think something negative. But you are empowered to relax right there and see what would you like to do with that energy of feeling and thinking something negative. And, and that's where I see that I've been so matured. It's, I love being mature now. It's just like, wow, I, I feel so much power to really be in that energy of all whatever it's labeled, negativity or positivity. But I, I am in power and charge of what I'm going to do with all of this information, all of this data. So that's where I see that before I, I used to take myself to be only that label, for instance, unworthiness or depression, and, and that's it. So it was a closed label and I was only that. But when I relax in short moment, what is opening up for me is to see that I can be that label and I don't need to blame myself if I label. So, I mean, it's just there. And, and the whole experience opens up. So that is that opening intelligence where we see that we have something innate in us that is endless. It's an endless wisdom, it's an opening intelligence, it's a pure knowing about how to be human. And we learn through the Four Mainstays to trust that instinctive knowing about how to be human in the most optimal, optimal way that is just of most benefit to everyone, including yourself that can never be doubted in your own experience. It's a nice philosophy to live a life to the benefit of all, but to really see it and live it and see that when you relax with everything that you are, you see that that is true. That is it, to be human. That is the code of an optimal version of a human being that we all are. So all that we do when we train up through the mainstays is to claim that version of ourself that we deserve, all of us. We so deserve to love and respect ourselves just as we are. And when we have very strong data, we all have that in one form or the other. For some of us that is physical sensations or it could be chronic illness. It is so powerful to see that, and this is from my own experience, when I've had certain data streams that felt so overwhelming that there were never, ever, ever any chance to relax. 
while experiencing it. I trusted so much my experience with other data, where I saw that I had relaxed with that, and I could do that, and it was like many, many, many short moments, but I could see the shift and the trust that it was all okay to not describe anymore and to resign from being a victim of it. So I really recommend to, when we have strong, strong data that we feel that is so overwhelming to be in close touch with the trainer. That could never be too much. To really, really feel that you are not alone with that. In a short moment, the time of the lonely individual is over, and if we think we are alone, it's just an idea. So that is what is so amazing with the support system here. Because it's there for you as much as you want. And it, it's really true that this training, you take it as far as you want in your own direct experience of yourself. In the meeting point with, where you meet all your thoughts and emotions and feelings and sensations and memories and pains and aches and whatever it is. That's the empowerment where you see what would I like to do in this moment, no matter what it is. So the, the freedom and the, and the relief that any human being longs for is in your own empowerment to choose what would I like to do in this moment. And now we have a tool where we are supported again and again and repeated again and again the short moment just to get to know ourselves or who we truly are. Because that is when we get real with reality and with ourselves as we are. We get real when we don't do anything about it. I remember before when I went into all the strategies of doing something, controlling all of this coming up with me, inside me, in me when I was relating and just busy, you know, analyzing that, there was no chance to really get real because I was just escaping into some learned strategy. So now when we really relax, we see everything, including seeing all of our strategies on how we have managed our data before. Sometimes that could be really sad. Sometimes that could be really painful, but we know also there we can relax. It could be painful to see that all these moments of my life I treated myself like shit. You know, like this is just not an empowering way to treat myself, to tell myself all over again that I'm not good enough. You know, but you're so supported to, to give up that inner war because it's just a waste of energy. It's not needed, it's never been needed. So even if I have moments where I see back on my life like oh, all this suffering, all this suffering is pure gold because this is the transition where we are all living together, where we have all these memories of our life of how it was to treat ourselves in a disempowering way. So that's why I love to come together like this and to, to live the Four Mainstays lifestyle where we are all together in this and we demonstrate that we don't need to do this anymore. And there are so many ways to, to really integrate the mainstays into our life and, and I will just share my own experience and it doesn't have to look like this at all, but I resigned from my job. But it, it was just, for me, it was just clear that I I just didn't want to, to be in that workplace anymore because it was completely disempowering for myself. So that was in my certain, my specific situation. But it was so powerful decision because I said, I'm limitless, I can do anything. So I don't need to be held back by anything. But that is just like a step-by-step -step decision. Or we could, I've heard stories about people really contributing to big shifts and changes within their workplace by really seeing the solution of what is of most benefit to all and not going with the old ways of relating and, and you know, all the structures within a, a workplace are built of, of many times so much fear and suspicious and all this control and there's just so much of it and, and we can just see there what we really would like to do. And all is well anyway because what I've seen is that Wherever I am, that's where open intelligence is, and wherever I am, that's where I have that 
opportunity to test if I can relax here. And then so much opens up. So much opens up. You know, we try so many times to really think about a solution. And it's just like that muddy pond, you know, we think and we think and we stir and we stir and we lost something in it and we try to find it and we stir and we stir and it's just more mud. And when we relax in a short moment, we don't think about our decisions. It just clears up. And I love that metaphor because that's who you are. You are that clear pond if you leave your experience as it is. Your mind is already clear. Your heart is already clear. Your whole experience is already clear. There is no confusion. But if you manage your data in the old way of avoiding, replacing, indulging, controlling, doing all of that, it's just stirring that mud. And that was never necessary. So that's really what we come to see uh, more and more. That we learn to trust our experience and we learn to trust ourselves just as we are. And that is really the best gift you can give to any human being. If this is a human being that is about to end the, the life in the physical body, to be with someone where you just relax deeply with everything that comes up within you, you can do that anywhere. But in those situations where so much naturally would stir in yourself, to extract the power and really relax deeply there, to see it's completely safe to be a human being in this moment with all that's going on with you. Because if you do that, the person that's dying, that has all these things going on as well, we'd, we'd notice that and we'd sense that deeply. Because that is a complete non-verbal transmission. No words are needed. And words can be, be said, but it's just back to taking that full responsibility for our life. That is the pure maturity of life, and that is really what we we are here together to demonstrate that we can do in the relationship to all of our data. But we know deeply that if we do that, we show that to any human being anywhere, that this is possible and this is the new way to live human life.